Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be looking at the remaining part of uh, the video for lesson for absolute value equations. Okay, so as I hope from the previous video, you would have understood more about how to solve absolute value equations. They were easy. So uh, the remaining part of the video uh, lesson will be covered in this video. So this is also going to be the same lesson, of course. It's going to be chapter one, lesson seven. So about solving absolute value equations. So for a quick review, yes, let's see what are the steps we need to follow to solve absolute value equations. We use inverse operations to isolate the absolute value expression as yesterday in, uh, in the previous video about absolute value equations i told you if there are any numbers outside the absolute value signs you need to remove them first so that's what they said isolate the absolute means keep the absolute value expression alone without any number around them so to do that we need to do the inverse operation then what's the next step rewrite the equation that is give two possibilities one with a positive sign and one with the negative sign Finally, solve the two equations as you how would normally solve, as how you normally would solve a normal equation. So these are the three steps in solving an absolute value equation. So this was the first one, the easiest one. What can be the value of x when the absolute value of x equals 4? So that means which number can be equal to 4 from 0? So that means four units from zero. What are the two numbers that can be one positive four and the other one can be negative four. So the solutions are four and negative four. It can be four or negative four. Then this was, this is what they meant. You have to leave the absolute value expression alone. You have to isolate it. So for that, you have to remove this number. So you for removing, you need to do the inverse. That means you have to add four plus three because it's minus on this side, so you need to add three to the other side. So that will give you an absolute value of x equals seven, which means x can be seven or it can be, and it can be negative seven. Okay, so the solutions are seven and negative seven. Okay, now this mean, this meant that it was multiply as there are no signs in between. If there was a minus or a plus sign, that means you have to do the opposite. So then you will have to minus. But here, this means it's multiplied, just like how you would consider when there are parentheses. If there were parentheses means they will be multiplied, right? So same here, this means multiply. So the opposite of to remove the four, to keep this absolute value alone, we need to do the opposite. So that's 24 divided by four, that will give you six. Now you will give two of two, equations that x plus 2 equals 6 and the other is going to be x minus 2 x plus 2 equals minus 6 so solve one side of the equation normally how you would so then you might you will get x equals 4 and on the other side you will get x equals negative 8 now these are detailedly explained in the previous video if you cannot remember or if you did not watch or if you don't understand what we are doing click the i card above and watch the video then you can continue with this part of the lesson okay now moving on did you know that as we saw previously, all these absolute value equations, they have two answers, right? They have two possibilities. All the absolute value equations which we solved up till now have two possibilities. But did you know that all absolute value equations have, not all absolute value equations have two solutions. Some equations have only one solution and some equations have no solution. So that's what we'll be learning in today's video. So there's an important message for you. If the absolute value expression equals zero, there is only one solution. So for example, like in the previous one here, here this means x plus two equals six, right? But in case if x plus two was equal to zero, then there will be no two equations like this. We will see what that means. Now, how am I going to solve this equation? This is going to be, of course, you have to isolate the absolute value. Isolate means keep it alone, right? So minus six will become plus six when it moves to the other side. So what does that leave us? What does that leave us with? X minus four equals zero. 
Now from that previous monkey screen, what was the monkey giving? Which message was important? If the absolute value expression equals zero, there is only one solution. Now here, the absolute value expression is equal to one, equal to zero. So how many solutions is this gonna have? As that monkey gave you the message, the uh, answer is going to be only one. Why is it only going to be one? How can you ever say x minus four equals minus zero? Have you learned anything called a minus zero? Zero is a zero. It is not positive, it is not negative, right? So how can you say x minus four equals minus zero? You can't. So the only possibility here we have is x minus four equals zero. So now you would normally solve how you are not solving an equation, x equals zero plus four, so x equals four. So such whereas for such equations where the absolute value equals zero, the answer is going to be only one solution. There will be no two solutions. Okay, this is one part of the absolute value, special absolute value equations you can say. So let's move on and see what's the next important thing. There you go, the monkey has come with another important message. If an equation states that an absolute value is negative, there are no solutions. So if an absolute value says that it is equal to a negative number, that means that there are no solutions. What does this mean? Now, um, this equation, how are you going to solve this? Of course, you have to solve this first, right? So this means you're going to move the two to the other side. So that will be seven minus two. So that will give you negative two X minus five equals five. Okay, now you can see a negative sign here. You, you know that there cannot be a negative sign alone. So if there is no number here means that's going to be a negative one, right? So that's going to be negative one. Uh, what does this mean negative one multiplied, right? So to remove the negative one from here, you have to divide. So we divide it five divided by negative one will give us negative five. Now, this is what it, the monkey said, two X minus five equals negative five. If an absolute value equation equals a negative number, there can be no solution. Why, what does this, this answer here means? It means the distance from zero right? The distance of a number from zero. So how can the distance be a negative number? How can we say from your home to the school, it is minus two kilometers? You cannot say that, right? Yeah, and neither can you say the distance from my home to the supermarket is minus five kilometers. What is minus five kilometers? There is nothing such. So if an absolute value in equation equals a negative number, that means there will be no solution for that equation. So whenever you see absolute value with no sign, uh, with a negative sign, simply say that this absolute value has no solution. Hopefully this is clear. You will keep, you will understand it better once you start practicing. So as you can see, the student is practicing. So this message I give you, keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing. So let's start some practice here. Um, this is going to be, okay, negative eight equals the absolute value of x. What did I just say? The absolute value can never be equal to a negative number. In fact, if you write it, this is going to be in this way. This que uh, question can be written like this. Can an absolute value equal a negative number? No, so that means there will be no solution. So this is like you said, the distance from my home to my friend's home is minus eight kilometers. So I will can ask you what is minus eight kilometers. So we are like digging the ground and going underground minus eight kilometers, right? Okay, so this is like, uh, x is equal to zero. So what does this mean? If any equation, absolute value equation equals zero, that means there can be only one solution. So what's the value of x here going to be? Simply it's going to be zero as we don't have, we have not studied anything called minus zero, right? So x can be only zero. Okay, here, uh, you know what to do, right? Uh, it's x plus four equals negative seven. Again, it is equal to a negative number. The rule is if any absolute value equals a negative number, that means there will be no solution. Okay, next one. You need to move the 
plus seven to the other side. We have to isolate them. Isolate means keep them alone. So to keep them alone, that's going to be seven minus seven equals the absolute value of three x plus n, sorry, nine. So seven minus seven is zero, three x plus n. Now again, rule number one, if any absolute value equals zero, that means there can be only one solution. So the equation, which, what are you going to write the equation as? Only write the equation as how it is in the question. 3x plus 9 equals zero. So here, what are you going to do? 3x is equal to zero minus nine. So 3x is going to give you minus nine. X is going to be equal to negative nine over three x is going to give you negative 3. So the answer for this equation can be negative 3. Okay, let's move on and practice some more questions. So here, 2x minus 4 equals 22. Now this is not 0 to have one, one solution and neither it is a negative number. So we just solve how we normally solve the, uh, some of the questions from the last video, right? Like give two solutions. So 2x minus 4 equals 22. And 2x minus 4 is going to be equal to minus 22. So 2x equals 22 plus 4. That is going to give you 2x equals 26. So x is going to be equal to 26 divided by 2, which means x is going to be equal to 13. Here, 2x equals negative 22 plus 4. So 2x is going to be equal to negative 18. x is going to be equal to negative 18 divided by 2. x is going to be equal to negative 9. Now, if you want to solve as fast as me, you need to talk to yourself when you're solving the question. Then only you can go on solving faster and faster because then when your mind and the when your mouth and the mind connects, you can do the work faster. I meant talk the one which you're doing, not the one talk with someone else. Okay, so here again, this means multiply. As I told you, treat it as how you would when you have parenthesis. Parenthesis means multiply. So the same here. So to isolate this, to keep them alone, I have to remove the three, which means I'm going to divide 18 by three. So that will leave me with x minus one. Uh, 18 divided by 3 equals absolute value of x minus 1. So this is going to give me 6 absolute value of x minus 1. So now I will give two sol equations, two solutions, right? So one solution is going to be 6 equals x minus 1, or you can say even like write it this way. I feel comfortable writing it this way. It's the same whether you put the equal 6 that side or equal 6 this side. And the other side, it's going to be x minus 1 equals negative 6. So, oops, I made a mistake. I should not be writing the absolute value signs. Whenever you are writing the two possibilities, okay, never write the absolute value, those lines in between the, this equations. One is going to be x plus 1 equals 6. One is going to be x minus 1 equals negative 6. So this is going to be x, x equals 6 plus 1 which means x is equal to seven. And another one is going to be x equals minus six plus one. So x is going to be equal to minus five. All right. Let's do one more question. Um, all right, so here we have the absolute value of 4x plus 9 equals 9. So as you know, you need to remove the plus 9 to isolate the absolute value of 4x. So that means you have to do the opposite. Plus 9 will become minus 9. So the absolute value of 4x equals 0. Now, when you have 0, you have to remember what, that, what the rule was. So if the absolute value equals 0, that means there is only one solution. So one solution means your equation is going to be 4x equals 0. x is going to be 0 divided by 4. Any number divided by 4 is going to give you a 0. So x equals 0. You can, in fact, stop here and say that x is equal to 0 because there is no point in doing But if you are doing that, it's fine too. Here again, this means I have to remove the 7 from here. So 8 minus 7 equals... Um, 
in the absolute here negative sign and absolute value of x now 8 minus 7 equals 1 which means my 1 is equal to the negative absolute value of x now as i told you there is no negative and there is no number here means that's going to be a negative one so what are you going to do you have to do the you have to divide that side with a negative the negative one so because this is multiplied so one divided by negative one will give you a negative one which means the absolute value of x is equal to negative one or simply in easier words let me explain what you have to do it is eight minus seven this other way let me show you eight minus seven equals one which is going to be equal to the absolute value x with the negative sign as you know absolute values cannot have a negative i mean it can a negative sign cannot be alone here so all what you need to do is simply give the negative sign to the number so that becomes a negative one that's what we did here so this is a deeper step and this is an easier step so negative one equals the absolute value of x so which means if an absolute value equals zero that uh, sorry a negative number that means that has no solution always remember if an absolute value is equal to a negative number it doesn't have a solution okay now let's try one word problem here problem solving question a brick company guarantees to fill a contractor's order to within five percent accuracy so you know what bricks are they are the ones which we make the buildings with the stones which we make the buildings with so of course uh, the people who make these buildings like they are called the contractors Contractors are the people who bring the sand and the stones, all these things. So they give order to a company. So the company guarantees to fill a contractor's order to within 5% accuracy. So they will fill within 5% accuracy. A contractor orders 1,500 bricks, write and solve an absolute value equation to find the maximum and minimum number of bricks guaranteed. So to start with, first they said they will fill 5% of 1500 so the contractor said he needs 1500 bricks so first let's find out how much are they able to fill so we need to find out first 5% of 1500 okay now this is a 5 so how do you find 5% of 1500 this percentage means always 100 5 divided by 100 multiplied by 1500 you can cancel zeros up and down. So here I will cancel two zeros to here. So this means that's going to be 75. Okay, I had to write it up here because the space down wouldn't have been enough if I were to solve the absolute value equations, right? So the same I have done 5% of 1500 is equal to 75. Okay. Now let's move on and write the absolute value equation as they said write and solve an absolute value equation to find the maximum and minimum number of bricks guaranteed so how am i going to write that one let's write the absolute value first so that's going to be x minus 1500 is equal to 75 because this is the guaranteed amount right so it can be uh, they ordered 1500 but they guaranteed only five percent of it which is 75. now let's write both the equations that's going to be x minus 1500 equals 75 or x minus 1500 equals minus 75. so let's solve this now x is going to be equal to 75 plus 1500 so that will give you 1575 or you can say x is equal to minus 75 plus 1500 so x is going to be equal to now when you have one negative and one positive you subtract them right so that means that's going to be one four Two five one thousand four hundred twenty five. So the guaranteed maximum amount is one thousand five hundred twenty five, and the other one is one thousand four hundred twenty five. So hopefully you have understood this lesson. It comes with practice. It's easier to do with 
practice the more you practice the more you will learn so hopefully you have understood what is done in this video so keep practicing and keep learning math till we meet again